What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another football video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the Bundesliga and how it could be adapted to other European leagues that haven't already been null and void. More specifically the Premier League because that's the league that I follow the most obviously because Wolves are in it and that's, you know, obviously therefore the league that I know the most about. The Bundesliga, it didn't really have too many problems uh, on its... It's opening weekend after being halted since mid-March, and obviously there there were a couple of incidents that obviously involved social distancing, where social distancing was unavoidable. But that's that's you, you got to take sometimes with the the rough rough along with the smooth. When you take the rough along with the smooth in a situation such as this, it, the, the consequences could be well most likely much more fatal. That's that's something that the Premier League and the Bundesliga itself probably need, needs to adapt. And well, social distancing was obviously still in, uh, still in place. The, the substitutes on the substitutes bench, uh, bench were uh, two, both uh, were all two metres apart, which obviously is uh, very much understandable. And you know, that's, that's some, something uh, it's just really common sense, really, that should be implemented in all leagues. At the moment, League 2 has been done and void, Eredivisie been done and void, and also League 1 has been done and void as well. So, those are a few leagues in Europe that have been done and void. Obviously, we have League 2 being the most recent a couple of days ago. I think, I think the Premier League will eventually return, along with the EFL. Um, I'm not sure about League One, but probably the Premier League and the Championship will return eventually. The Serie A um, is, is going to be returning in mid-June, so that's another league that is going to re be returning alongside the Bundesliga. So, until the Premier League returns, there's absolutely no nothing confirmed at the, at the moment when the Premier League is going to return. There's loads of uncertainty. The both the Premier League and EFL clubs have had meetings on when stuff is going to start to resume obviously in much much more different circumstances than as usual for you know obvious reasons you don't need you don't need to be genius to, to work out why it's everything's going to be different we, we've got so far into the season now i mean we're, we've got nine games left i think we're 29 games into the season i think so it's it's just ridiculous to call it off now i mean Especially with the championship as well, and t teams in terms of promotion as well, there's, there's such a big financial factor in this as well. I think the Bundesliga was very successful yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to watch it because I was uh, I was filming a Wolf's Grimmad episode that went up last night, and I will be definitely giving it a watch uh, uh, um, over the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, there probably there probably will be some problems uh, uh, along the way that the Bundesliga and indeed other leagues that haven't already been the Lombard will need to refine. I can see why some Premier League players are sceptical about returning to the Prem to Premier League action. I mean, uh, the likes of Sergio Aguero have openly voiced their concerns about the league restarting and rightly so because obviously everyone, <laughs> every Premier League fan wants the Premier League to, to succeed in this project restart and they want Premier League to, to watch their club pr play Premier League football again but there are safety concerns there are obvious safety concerns and obviously uh, quite a few players have uh, and clubs have voiced their concerns and rightly so because everything has everything has to be taken carefully at this stage because there could potentially be fatalities I mean this 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 situation is it's 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 cost many lives in this country and if we're not careful it could it could it, it could take some some footballers lives as well because no no one is no one is safe no one is safe it's not it's not it's it's not due to a a, a particular category like an, an old, uh, older people that are more vulnerable. Yes, they are more vulnerable, but everyone is. It's not just them, and and it's it, w it would be an absolute travesty for 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 footballers footballers to pass from from this. 
and that's why safety is of paramount importance and that's why Premier League football is probably not going to be returning until well um, until probably mid June around probably at well at the earliest it could be later it could be later it's it's pure speculation at the moment but it could it could be later well the Premier League have have taken Premier League clubs have taken some some steps to resuming uh, somewhat training programs at the moment players are returning to to, to training grounds and that's that's probably going to be that's probably going to be the the main thing that's going to be happening unfortunately for the, for the next uh, few weeks or so everything has to be taken in in gradual steps at the moment and and as much as I'd like to see Wolves back in Premier League action again I would I'd love nothing more than to watch a Premier League game again sometimes it just sometimes these things you just you just have you just have to Show a bit of patience, and that's 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 the, the, the sad reality at the moment. It's not it's not all doom and gloom. Everything will eventually get back to normal, and hopefully we will be able to watch some Premier League football again, which I have been missing a lot. I'm just uh, trying to keep myself got occupied at this this point in time, and I think that's probably what what we have to do. We just the main thing at the moment. We just have to show a bit of patience. Uh, I wish every success for the Bundesliga at the moment. It seems like it's going very well at the moment, and hopefully, ho hopefully, it can stay that way. There, there are many precautions, as as I have stressed m multiple times over this video, because because Germany isn't hasn't been hit as badly as we have. The Bundesliga. That's why the Bundesliga is uh, uh, is able to return as well. As, as I say in quotes, as early as uh, as it has done, we'll just have to, we'll just have to wait and see. We're 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 a long way uh, off off the end of this at the moment. Hopefully, hopefully there is light at the end of the tunnel. And you just have to be op optimistic in these times. Unfortunately, you can uh, unfortunately as optimistic as you can be, the these sad, sad realities won't go away for. A long while yet. I probably will do some more Bundesliga and hopefully some more more European leagues. Uh, I'll, well, I'll, I'll be covering on over the next few weeks and months, and hopefully I'll get back soon to to doing more reviews. You know, it's, it will be a very different place, but hopefully we can get back to watching Premier League action as soon as possible. But, yeah, that's my thoughts. I'll see you on Wednesday with a live episode of The Wolves Career Mode. If not, I'll just do another midweek chat. Until then, goodbye guys! <laughs>